he does get paid. He's going to borrow the thing. Tune, uh, it's only the tune of the, the, the piano one, but I don't know what tune. I'd be nice to do something with the piano, though, because if you're a damn it, it's difficult with only 12 songs being difficult. You could just take, give me 10 minutes, and I'd find that out. I think it's oh, it longer. Let's, you know. Well, then, should we start off with that back? But then it's like, it's only the tune of that and that. And then you can just blur. Not moving around. Song is a tune, blur, rap. It's fine. I'll just do 10 minutes. Anyway, I don't need to do that long. I just wish that I could conjure up this good feeling I have when I'm at home. Maybe I need to like put my phone on the side of the piano and press record as yeah. if I'm at home doing it. Yeah, have a trigger. Yeah. I like. I really like the idea of doing it. I wanted to do it for a long time, but I just. I'm not sure if it's safe to do a piano at the same time, but I think it would be more fun for the audience if I do improvise and start with the piano at the same time. So we've only ever done that once in school, but I feel it's something good. Like, like songs, when they're reading them in the keys, maybe? Yeah, and then, like, the next one, one is the different one to do. The next one has to be the same as that.
just going to pay for it, so I can't pay. trumpet though but we can that one we know. I don't think we can find it. Yeah. Hmm. Just like what's your name, Sorry? Luke. Sorry? Luke. <laughs> I knew you. Piers? Like Piers Morgan?
everyone, welcome to Sense Film and welcome to Sense Film's music room. For those of you who've never been here before, uh, Sense Film is primarily a, a, a film studio, a film and TV studio. We've been here since 1975 and we are, uh, our main purpose in life is to do film and recordings. Um, but during the lockdown, I mean we've always loved music, and during the lockdown, We've had concert before and things like that. And during the lockdown, we specifically use our facility and our equipment and so on to give the musician the possibility to uh, stream and to uh, reach their audience, despite the fact that it was not possible to have uh, people like tonight in, in this room. This is how we met Ewan. Uh, he did a live stream on his own here with uh, Fred Thomas um, on, the, on, on, on the stage. Anyway. And we decided to keep that program um, because those events are actually streamed. They reach a lot of other people through YouTube and through all the, the, the streaming system. And it means that people who maybe have uh, mobility issues or, or live simply too far or don't want to go in the dark and dank night can still have access to live music. And that's why uh, we think that our equipment and our skills are well used. That being said, Despite the fact that this is part of uh, the uh, London EFG, London uh, Jazz Festival, and we've done other series, we've done concerts nearly once a week. This year we've done 72 concerts. Oh. Um, <laughs> we, um, however, we do not consider and we do not want to become a venue. We're not a venue, we're not an entertainment venue. There's plenty of venue in London, we don't need one more. And we don't want to end up uh, running this business with a bar and a brasserie and <laughs> you know, all, the, all the usual trapping that uh, being a live venue means, especially the, the really concerning issue, which is of monetizing art and culture and making uh, a thing that on tonight's performance is worth 12.99 plus VAT, you know, or something. It's wrong. The uh, music and, and art in general, but music in particular, is, is, should be in the common. It belongs to all of us. They deliver it 
I mean, of course, they have, they have to earn a living, but they don't do it, uh, you know, I give you, you give me five pounds, I give you a song. That's not the way it works. They offer it to you, and then you as an audience, because you like it, you support them. That's how it should be, and that's how it's been for thousands of years. It's only the last few, you know, 200 years that we've decided that we should have tickets, which is an idiotic thing. And pay the front as well. You know. Anyway, um, so we uh, don't, we're not doing it on a purely commercial ground, and that's why we invite you to make donations. Some of you have already made donations, some haven't yet, some will make huge ones yet. Um, but it's, the interesting bit is that it gives you opportunity to have active participation. There's the, tonight's performance, there's no audience participation. No one's going to be invited to come on stage to sing or anything like that. However, well, so far, I don't know. But, but, but uh, your participation is to support them um, by um, expressing your liking of it by making donations. Usually it's a form of money, of course. But anyway. Um, anyway, have a nice time. Welcome, and uh, I give you um, whiskey with the rest.
Tres totales son que dos está frío y amparanciás que te den tres totales son que tres totales. Who's just played piano there? Mm -hmm. and his friends. Very few people know that he has 11 fingers. Maybe I've miscounted. I'm a bit embarrassed because a friend's here who's given me his trumpet a few years ago, and uh, I had to tell him just before that. Oh, I'm really sorry, it's a bit broken. So <laughs> <laughs> but it adds to the song, the sound. <laughs> Maybe, I hope.
song now that I wrote for in the lockdown time I was on I was living on a sailing boat and when I was awake got stuck in Germany and I was frightened that it was full of water and no one was answering my call to check it so I wrote um, I le wrote this song and left it on two people's answering machines <laughs> <laughs> it's called me boats is sinking <laughs> Boats is sinking, and it's got me drinking, but that won't fix my soul. I'll just keep on drinking, just keep on thinking, she is as dry as a bone. Limehouse and realised the first line's got the, the place Wapping in it, so it's a good one. If you hear Wapping, for people who are not from here, where is Wapping? Over the river? Just opposite. No, just just opposite. Side, the other side of the... Oh, it is the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's where we used to live in Limehouse. Yes. 
all at one time, or another, we all lived in the same house, which is only really two. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know, if you want to find a rock with a hole in it, uh, Rotherite is the place to go. Go on the beach there. Have you noticed that? <laughs> I've noticed them. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're so cool. On my boat, I have them swinging from the roof of my boat when the wash comes around. It's really surprising, you know. You have to be careful where you walk, then, I guess. No, it's... it's <laughs> 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 you have to be there to know. It's, it's, really, it's really fun. <laughs> anyway, just go down there with your flashlight or, or torch and, and look for a hole, see? hole yeah. in your rocks later. Or in the day. In the day. <laughs> and check when the tides are. Yeah, yeah. The tide is well, yeah, you don't get surprised by the tide. So what are you doing now? We're doing it. The one that was walking in it. You don't know the okay. lyrics. <laughs> well, uh, do we need Kelly? Ja, sprechst auf Deutsch? Ja. Ja, zwei. Oh, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. That's good. Well, I'm very sorry for this next song. <laughs> so, in, oh, well, I got stuck in Germany in the lockdown time. And so, um, I learned a bit of really bad German there. And I wrote a song because everyone would say, Aber with this melody all the time. So, so I wrote this song, Aber. <laughs> <laughs> 
and it's I love you very much, but, but, you are wonderful, but, yeah, something like this. That's a weird in German, it even has a... Yes, I remember what.
This is a song I wrote in a place called Portuguese Cove, about 20 miles from Halifax, Nova Scotia, where my first child was born. And I, I sort of wrote this child out of, wrote the song about being really happy, uh, you know, to start my family. It all ended badly, but I'm sorry to say. <laughs> <laughs> but I did get this song out of it. <laughs> It's all water under the bridge. Who else in the world could I be? Yes, it's all water under the bridge. The past is a fame memory, but the future. Is too bright to see. Oh, no. It's a little awkward. I'm going to move this one over here. Do you know how old I was when this theater started? Someone guessed. No. I was 14. Yeah. I just worked that out in my mind while I was playing. <laughs> I'm always thinking about numbers all the time. You know. It's weird.
big bottle, pour the bottle off, pour some out. There's no doubt I'm a wine for you. Jim, uh, uh, we're just going to check the weather and we're going to leave you with some beautiful, beautiful improvised music by Ewan. He doesn't know whether it'll go right or wrong and that's the exciting bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ewan. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll watch it on the recording later. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to make a longer live stream so we figured that yeah. they needed a break in the middle. I don't get a break. <laughs> I don't need a break, though. <laughs> um, but anyway, I was going to improvise some music on the piano, but I might start with a song that I, or a melody that I wrote uh, called the. Um, <laughs> did you hear that in the background? Yes. <laughs> well, whenever Jim burps, he says Barack Obama. <laughs> 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 Autumn Wolf <coughs> that I wrote.
Very good. Somehow I uh, got back to something similar to where I started there. <laughs> um, okay, I'll do another one, but I don't know. Shall I just do it with the, with the piano on its own, or do you want to hear the clarinet piano again? See, I've never actually performed this. this. is what I do all day long at home. It's this whole thing that um, you forget sometimes. You, you're actually procrastinating, but you realise your procrastination is actually your work. <laughs> and you're supposed to be doing admin, and then you end up sitting at the piano all day, <coughs> and things happen. Um, got no idea what the next one's going to be, but we'll give it a go. <laughs>
The tuning pack on the D is not working, so we use a coin. Sometimes you have to ask people at a gig, has anyone got 2p or 20p? No one has cash anymore. Eh?
the plane. Made more sense than what I did. <laughs> <coughs> related story when after Germany I went back to live on the boat in over Christmas and New Year in that time when you weren't allowed to see anyone time and um, apart from I was visited by a rat this big in the night time no it wasn't it was it, it was that wasn't including his tail no that no I think not in my memory it was that big with the tail <laughs> I used to hear, uh, it would come up four in the morning and then I thought I heard two because it was like surround sound scratching trying to get in. So I wrote a poem and then I d wrote it for this rat. So I'll try and do it how I first sang in this terrified moment. <laughs> Ewan told me E flat minor is the key of doom. <laughs>
of steel is rusting with the tide. I hear a voice cry to the gods and don't know if it's mine. Creep low past the whispering windows. Creep low. Decrepit crosses strewn out on the creek Your voice, it haunts me like a gale That's played for broken teeth The boat turns back but she's sailing on her own A paraffin moon's gone out too soon There's nowhere to see home Creep on Past the whispering window for a while. <laughs> okay, good, thank you. <laughs> We've been out for a little rest when the wheel was playing. Deepwood Duck D.
trust myself counting, so I either do it too fast or too slow. So if anyone you wants to play down. along on the piano, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
lips, worm me soft close to ya. Warm your eyes and kiss your lips, worm me soft close to ya. recording here in this room and uh, Olivia's been so kind because we don't feel like pressure in a with time and things in a recording studio so we're, and we're recording with an orchestra this week Ewan's written all these parts it's a, it's a few more people <laughs> <laughs> it's an orchestra of me I don't know. <laughs> so thank you Olivia and all these lovely people in this amazing place Thank you. So, uh, if it was just a live stream, it would be really weird. Once I did that in Berlin, on this in this big ballroom, and me and my friend were on the stage, and there was no faces there, and it was really strange. So, so good to see real faces, and <laughs> so it should, yeah. Thank you, thank you for coming out. But no one listening on the live stream knows that it could just be like recorded sound of people <laughs> clapping, <laughs> <laughs> and laughing, canned, canned <laughs> applause, and canned laughter. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to play our last song, Love You and Leave You. <laughs> oh, you'll love and leave us. You'll leave us. So long. Yeah. Our lovely going friend so Paolo's going, moving back to Italy tomorrow. This is his last. Oh, no. Oh. Are you going back to Guatemala? We didn't mean this song with um, intent. It's called So Long, right? It's not <laughs> <laughs> so long. Say hi to Bruno. Yeah. You guys got to get through the end of the night. One, uh, See? One, two, three. <laughs>
Louisa Jones, our writer of all my shabby songs. That last song was all the chat up lines I gave her when we first met, basically. <laughs> 